is up guys and welcome back to my channel on today's vlog i am taking you behind the scenes of sri lanka's biggest fashion show colombo fashion week this year colombo fashion week took place at the shangri-la hotel in colombo we spend our three show days staying at the hotel and it really becomes like a second home to us during that time Our day begins with breakfast around 9 a.m. followed by our first activity for the day, rehearsals which begin at 10 a.m. So we are doing rehearsals right now and uh, we are about halfway through. After rehearsals we will be moving on to lunch, hair and makeup and then uh, getting ready for the show. <laughs> Long day ahead. It's amazing man, it's kind of hectic because we've been doing this for the past two or three days and there are some obvious last minute changes because the stage is not aligned, the music's not done properly and it's a lot of um, alignment to go to perfect it but you know, come show time and we know what we're doing, it's, it, it kind of feels like a dream come true We do, we do and uh, the scariest thing is you get a friend or two who has their camera out and they're like <gasps> And you can't react to that, right? You're supposed to be you're supposed to be composed and specifically you'd be very precise, so you can't just go you know, keep it together, you'd be very, you know, together your model face on at all times. And uh, it's also sometimes very overwhelming because you see the lights and the cameras and the lives and everything's going on, you're like up there, you know, you're waiting for your time to go, right? And sometimes you get overwhelmed by the lights and the cameras and all that. There's a slight chance people like forget where they are and what time to turn. But that is the thrill of the whole thing. Right? when that all comes together and you find a way even in the times where you forget that you're supposed to go down somebody else will cover for you and how that thing just beautifully works together that is why I love this whole thing Fitons and rehearsals two days prior to today, which is the show day, day one of CFW. And I thought I'd share with you guys our rehearsal structure is like. So this is our cue sheet, and we, it has the group girls that are divided into two groups, and each segment that you are in, so the ones that have circled are the ones I'm in. And here you write down your choreography, or I like to draw it, because you need to remember all your different choreography for about five segments, which is the minimum that um, each model does, five different outfits to go on there. So it's not just simply walking up and down, you have a different choreography for everything for all three days. So we are getting hair and makeup done. Mimesha is doing my hair. Ramani Fernando Salon does the hair and makeup for us every year. is we're divided into group A and B and there's two different looks. This is look A and I think Chanel has look A as well, yes. The energy is amazing, there's a mix of nerves and excitement but I mean the pandemic last year and this year we're coming strong with a great platform. Uh, this year CFW is working on with the circular tree platform. In fact our stage is actually a big circle. To remind everyone that fashion can be fun and also good for the earth, the environment and for ourselves. So, uh, the sequences are basically how we're going to represent each and every designer. 
So sequence one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up nine. This is basically the order of how we're gonna go. But this basically helps us, as well as the other designers, know what exactly is going on at what time. So a bit more organized. It's it's one thing to keep it in your memory and like hope and pray that you remember it on time. It's another thing to like exactly know. Okay, so one, two, three is like this, and just go for it. That's what this whole sequencing is about. Alright guys, so now we are with Ramani Fernando, she needs no introduction and is a pillar in this industry if you ask me. It was a new kind of concept mm -hmm. in, in, the, in the industry, yeah. so it was it was always like something that we look forward to. Yeah. Uh, maybe there wasn't that much of pressure at the beginning, I mean not that there's that much pressure now, yeah. but of course like um, when we first did it, mm. we didn't know what to do, we didn't yeah. know what to expect. It was sm way it smaller scale. Way smaller, but uh, Prasad Vidhapa was involved with yeah. us. And also looking at the international shows, you had the idea of what yeah. it's all about. And yeah. then as it went on, obviously it evolved. And yeah. many more models and more sophistication. Yeah, it yeah. it's been awesome. Thank you so much for talking to so us. So all the best to you. Thank you. <laughs> so now it's about 4.40. We are just finishing up hair and makeup and we have a tech rehearsal now. Technicals are so that the guys who are running the lights and the music can get their timing along with us all together. This is one of the most important ones and it's really important for us because we get to do our final run through before we get up on stage. This is where we uh, figure out our cues, when to come out. We will have somebody next to us telling us but we won't be able to look into the uh, stage and see what's going on like during rehearsals. So super important. We are just about ready to start so you will be able to see that soon. Well, I have to say it has improved for male models individually. I have seen the improvements. 20 years ago or 25 years ago, there weren't any uh, designers to cater for male models or male collection as per se. But now there are plenty, especially upcoming designers, I must say. But we are going to do as a show today. Their variety is nice. They are thinking out of the box. There is no like commercialized mindset there. So they come up with new stuff. Like it's not only about catering to the market, it's also yeah. what you can give to the audience, you know. At the end of the day, it's also to do with entertainment, you know. <laughs> Fashion also combined with entertainment, so that is that drama has to be there. Danny is Daniel Kirkhoven. He's the, one of the biggest models in Sri Lanka, but he's super shy to talk on the blog, apparently. Oh my God. <laughs> Are you eating something? Yes, yeah. I am. <laughs> I think for the young girls, there's more opportunity now hmm. than there was before. Yeah. Like when okay, they started off, you didn't have so much of work. Like mm -hmm. we had a lot of work, but now there's more opportunity. The uh, industry has grown so much. Mm -hmm. So I think it's a good time for people joining in and coming yes. into the industry. Right. It's a nice industry, it's a good industry, it's been great, I've had a great career and I'm so happy. And it's been great actually to see how much our industry has actually evolved over the years. I mean even with CFW when we started off and now where we are today, I mean it's really amazing. And to be a part of all of that has been a great experience. Right. Thank you so much. <laughs> Rehearsals are done. It is now time to go in and start getting ready. The show will be starting in about half an hour. Yeah. Everybody's decent, right? Nobody's changing? Yeah? Okay, ready? So I'm going to show you guys how a backstage is divided. This is Arunika, say hi. <laughs> so 
basically we all have a rack that is uh, designated for us all our outfits are put there in order so come. Oh, this is my rack Hello. so this is my dresser what's your name uh, Dimutara. Dimutara. she's gonna help me change and these are all my rack with my name on it these are my outfits this is my chair where I will be Oh, that's your chair. <laughs> this is my chair. I will be sitting here and changing. Okay, guys, so now we have Namindri with us. Thank you for speaking to us. So, she is a designer for the emerging designers section of Colombo Fashion Week. This is a really cool thing because CFW chooses a group of designers who are fresh and you know new into the industry with new and fresh ideas and gives them the platform of CFW um, to be a part of. You applied to be a part of CFW, right? Yes. So what are the reasons that you chose to use CFW as a platform? Uh, I think it's a great opportunity to be a part of this because it's one of the biggest platforms in Sri Lanka yeah. to have your collections going yeah. on the runway. So. I wasn't sure whether I would get selected because apparently there were over 100 applications right. for this. So I think I'm super lucky to be a part of this. I think you're talented, that's <laughs> why you. you're here. How long have you been working on this collection to make it ready for Colombo Fashion Week? Uh, so with CFW mentoring yeah. sessions, I've been working with them for about three months. Mm -hmm. And I've been working a few months before, before that, that as also. well. Yes. How helpful did you find the mentoring session to be? Like, What did you a like lot, actually pick up from it? Quite a lot. Yeah. They help you with the designing, with the finishing yeah. and everything. Like, So my collection has a lot of uh, prints and uh, colors. Right. They help you with how how to get the colors right, right. And how to match all the prints and right. get it properly done yeah. to the standards they want. They're obviously much more uh, knowledgeable than yeah. I am about the industry so <laughs> I mean they're very experienced really, yes. Yeah. Yeah. so actually my last question I said one I lied to you I asked you like what three because <laughs> you're very interesting what do you feel right now today your collection is about to go on stage how do you yes. feel quite nervous yeah. and exciting yeah. and exciting very exciting I just can't imagine how I'm going to feel after it's gone on the runway so oh, it's, you're gonna yeah. be like feel so amazing yes. Just finished a little debriefing and we are ready to start the show. Have the usual pre show jitters, but it's all good. Another thing to note is that this place is usually, this event is usually twice, three times more crowded backstage, more people. It's because of the situation that uh, it's been scaled down a lot for the health and safety of everybody as well as to get permission to actually do it. So it's way more, way smaller, but it's still gonna be good. I'm here. The emerging designers this season, which is always the most looked forward to segment in Fashion Week because that shows the, the future of Fashion Week or the fashion designers in Sri Lanka. Uh, this season is very special because we went out, we opened applications with designers who have uh, a solid uh, Sri Lankan heritage craft in their background. So that's why you'd, you'd seen a lot of batik, a lot of biralu, a lot of brass, um, things like that that were shown on the ramp. We received over 120 applications, which is very satisfying at this point to know that everyone's looking at design as a career. To plan them, to bring them together, to put their collections together, to downsize them from 120 to 11, it takes a good four months because we don't turn anyone back. We try to, it's, that's why we're a developmental system and we're hoping they'll just go onwards and upwards. This is uh, CFW's 18th year. We started in 2003. Uh, it's been a long journey, nearly two decades. When we started at that time, when we, we showed probably, I think, six designers, out of that only three were Sri Lankan. Now, 18 years later, we see over 300 designers. Um, I think close to 85% of designers that you see in Sri Lanka today are part of the CFW design development system. So, so the vision from 2021 onwards is how do we make sustainable fashion as part of our normal life. So we're trying to 
uh, create interesting tools and uh, formats where every designer who designs, designs with sustainability and responsibility in mind. So we want the Sri Lankan fashion design industry to be completely sustainable, completely responsible and transparent, which is, a, which is an urgent need, especially in 2021 and going forward. It's a new environment and we want to have uh, Sri Lanka's fashion design industry as the first one in South Asia to be uh, ready for that. So that's where we are going. Um, well, about one or two, three minutes from starting the show.